Okay, I'm here with Prusa, Joe Prusa, at the Midgard show in Reykjavik, Iceland. Um, I want to welcome you to Iceland and ask you first, why did you come to Iceland? <laughs> well, because uh, we had the opportunity and we saw the show and it seemed like a good fit. And we've never been to Iceland, so it's a great way to uh, show our printers here. Uh, and we were talking about this earlier, do you have a big customer base here in Iceland? Uh, I think uh, I think we have around 100 or more, so that sounds quite good. If you if you are telling me uh, that the group is not so, uh, I, I would say, concentrated on the Facebook or something. Yeah, it's not very active community-wise, at least, and so it's hidden away so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe we can work together, you know, and and let our customers uh, know that you you have the group here. Yeah, like I, I have my channel and, and I registered on Prusa printers to have like show and tell option yeah. that people can look me up and, and such. So, yeah. yeah. So, so with, with the Prusa printers, uh, what, we, what, it, what is out now is just the beginning. So we are now starting to work on, on the functionality to, localize, uh, to, to, to do local meetups. So, you know, to, to let, you know, to have people uh, go to an event and give people a way to organize like you know meetups in a pub and talk about 3d printing we are starting to do that in the US now and working on the functionality so it will be available everywhere yeah so so you can arrange them at that website with yeah. your local community yeah yeah that because you know Facebook and social media sometimes are are dark places you know and it's not it's not always good for hanging out because so many new people come in and they, they just ask you know, to troubleshooting questions and that kind of discourages uh, the, the normal debate, you know, like over a beer. Yeah, exactly. I, I do the same for my work as, at VMware Expert. I run a VMware community session yeah. <laughs> here in Iceland and it's the same idea then just to meet other users and and, yeah. and, and meet up and talk and, and yeah. socialize. Yeah. Yeah, and it's always nice to see the prints, you know, in, in real, in, in, not just in the photo. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But you're here uh, with your booth. What do you have here at the booth that you're showing people? So we have our standard range of printers. So we have the Mark 3S here. We have the uh, Multimaterial uh, 2S here. And we also have our SO1 and CW1 here. Yeah, and that, that's the, the resin printer, the new one. Yeah. Uh, is that started to ship or...? Oh, yeah, we are shipping for quite some time. And uh, the, the waiting list or the shipping queue is... I think it should be gone in, in a month. So I hope to see a lot of them in wild. But that is an interesting thing because uh, uh, it is kind of different market than the Mark III. Uh, when we were releasing the SL1 or when we were starting to work on it, we were like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. We, we cannot meet, uh, we, we cannot beat the photon on the price base, right? So instead we, we built it like a tank and, and did it like the more premium or professional way. So it is more of a form three competitor than the photon. And people like this, if, if, if you are a dentist and buy a 3D printer, you usually don't have much time to hang out in, in, on the Facebook group. So that's why you don't see them uh, as, as much uh, on the social media. Yeah, and, and you have a like, complete ecosystem with a cleaning station and curing station. Yes. So it's, it's similar to the, to the form with their yeah. solution. Yeah, yeah, and we, we are trying to, to work on a newer version or, or optimizing the production of the curing and washing station. Uh, so maybe next revision should be uh, should should be lower cost or or maybe do a light version for other people with resin 3D printers because you know the the worst part about the resin printing is not the printing itself but it's the it's the cleanup uh, and the curing and washing station really 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 helps and makes it much more enjoyable with hobby. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really want to have a resin printer, but I have a cat and I'm not sure how it will behave oh. around the resin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that will be a challenge. But yeah, but uh, for the resins, um, people are uh, uh, creating like now eco-friendly resin wa water soluble. Do you support other resins oh. than your own? Oh, so, so we have a resin development on our own. 
but be careful about if, if you say that it's by uh, if, if somebody is saying it's bio based it doesn't mean that it's not toxic you know because the uh, the photo catalyst is always you know it's not bio based and if you and the monomers there I mean the, the origin of them doesn't mean that they are safe if, if you say it's plant based it can still be very dangerous so yeah so it, it's like a base material is bio based but all the all the magic is still, still toxic so to speak yes yes <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good to know because um, people are thinking about if the new resins are like you can handle them without out the toxin oh, no. effect. No, you you should never you, sh you should never do these things without the proper gloves and proper handling. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. It, it like seems that the uh, home use of resin printer is picking really fast up, so the interest must be quite high for for that one. Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, I think so. Because, yeah. But I, w I wonder, you know, the, 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 some of the printers are very cheap, but I wonder how many people are going to use them like long term, if you know what I mean. Because the resin printing, the, the quality is very nice, but the, the prints are usually not as long lasting as, for example, if you print with ASA, uh, with ASA materials on the FDM printers, the prints can stay out for years and they are functional. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, and with the with the you're selling those as a kits as well, and, and are they somewhat similar in assembly, like complication of assembly for the users as a normal printer, or is it easier, or how's the process for the ones that buy the kits? Uh, that that depends. Some people say it's easier. Some people say it's uh, it's more difficult. But I would say it's uh, on the on the same level. But the nice thing is that we have all our manuals and assembly instructions online. So if anybody is interested to see uh, even how, how the printer is built on the inside to judge on the quality of the parts, you can just uh, head to the manual section and take a look at the assembly instructions. Yeah, and, and like, like with normal FDM printers, you're always doing some maintenance and, and fixing parts and getting clocks and such, but I guess normal user maintenance on an SLR printer is, is, is less, I would think, but is it so? Uh, I mean, I, we, we don't have so, so many user data uh, or as many user data as with our FDM printers. But I would say it, it, it has different range of, or, or different things to troubleshoot, but I would say generally yes. There is less things uh, that can go wrong. Yeah, there are less moving parts and, and such. Yeah, no no belts to to clean and <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so you've been here to Iceland in in the first time. Yeah, it is my first time. Yeah, my second day here. <laughs> yeah, and you did a little bit of traveling and, and yeah. plan to do some more. There are lots yeah. lot of things to see. And yeah, <laughs> I, I arrived on a very special day, you know, Friday the thir 13th. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but everything went smoothly. So yeah. I hope that the rest of the tour will be uh, also yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And, and thanks for coming out. And, and it's nice meeting you here and, and see you with, with your booth. I, I talked to you guys a little bit yesterday and, and they were quite busy most of the time I, I saw them. So <laughs> I think it's a good, good place for you to be at. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. And I hope uh, to see you next year here. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure will.